Camera comparison now between the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G and the Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus. So with the 16 megapixel camera on the Xiaomi here, you just get 1080p video. 1080p 30 with electronic image stabilization. You get 1080p 30 with the Samsung with electronic image stabilization, but also 4K, but 4K 30, but without any stabilization. So I've set both of them here to 1080p. Now audio bitrate on both is 256 kilobits per second. I'm swapping over the audio sources. So which one here sounds the best to you? The microphones, let me know in the comments and the stabilization, which here looks the best. Just jog along. And we'll take a look at the clouds in the background to see if it's able to actually capture that one. Which one looks the best there when it comes to the clouds that are just up here? Rear main cameras, so both of these, the 64 megapixel, then the 108, don't have any electronic image stabilization, but with the Samsung, at least the A53's main camera does have optical image stabilization. So as you can see, the result is that the footage, while not perfect, is a lot steadier than what I have with the Note 11 Pro Plus shaking around all over the place. Ultra wide video now. So this is 1080p. The Samsung can actually do 4K with the ultra wide, but it does not have any electronic image stabilization. It shakes around. So I've set them both here to 1080p. As I move ahead, you can see the electronic image stabilization is working well. And now I'll jog. It looks to me like the Xiaomi here is the steadiest, the Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus when it comes to the electronic stabilization. However, the image, I think, looks a, bit, a little bit sharper and more detailed with the A53 5G. All right then, so overall, I think that the Samsung is the winner for me, and why would I pick it? It does have better selfies, better portrait shots. I don't know what's going on with the Redmi. I did in fact disable all the beautifying options, but it still smoothed my skin out way too much. That looks weird. I don't like that at all. And the ultra wide is clearly better on the Samsung. That's for video, for stills as well. And then we do have optical image stabilization with the main sensor. Even though the Xiaomi, yes, it's got a higher megapixel count, it can do the nine in one binning. It doesn't always mean that the high megapixel count is going to be better, of course. I prefer to have the optical image stabilization. Now with 4K video, both of them don't have electronic image stabilization. But I did notice with the optical image stabilization at least, we get one form of stabilization, but it does rock around a little bit as you saw from my sample, but better than having absolutely nothing. The other thing is too, with the front facing 32 megapixel camera with the Galaxy A53 5G, we have 4K support at 30 frames per second, but it doesn't have any stabilization. So you do really need to use one of those mobile gimbals to get smooth footage, but we have that option, which is good. You don't, sadly, with the Redmi. The Redmi says 1080p, that's all you get with the front-facing camera. So, overall winner for me, it definitely was, I think, the Samsung when it came to the cameras on both the Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus versus the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I do hope to see you back in the channel with more up-and-coming camera comparisons.